Hey! Welcome back to Marvel Live at Comic Con 2013, presented by Dr. Pepper. I'm Ryan Panagos, aka Marvel's Agent M, joined by Lorraine Saint, host and writer of Marvel's The Watcher, and today we are with Luis D. Esposito and Bronte D. Esposito. Thank you for joining us, you guys. You're welcome. Very exciting, uh, Lou. You are co-president of Marvel Studios, but you also directed Agent Carter, That's which correct. is very exciting. We had the world premiere here at Comic Con last night. What do you think the crowd thought? You know, it's the first time we've shown it in front of a, an audience. Prior to this, you've seen it. I did. And I sat next to you watching it. Yep. And that's staring at me. And that's always very <laughs> exciting having you in the room with me. But seeing it in front of about 600 people yeah. last night was, was thrilling. Yeah. They reacted at all the right moments. They really loved Haley Atwell, you know, playing the role of of, uh, of Agent Carter, and uh, I couldn't be happier. Yeah, it, it was very exciting. And I was giving out tickets yesterday. And I would tweet out a picture like, I have tickets. Within minutes, people will be like, do you, have, do you still have tickets? Can I have the tickets? They were very excited. Yeah, she's really beloved, uh, not only to Marvel Studios, but to our fans. Yes, yes, very much so. Um, now, I heard a rumor that you were in Iron Man 3. Is that true? Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Where were you in Iron Man 3? Where were you in Iron Man 3? Um, beginning, I had a scene with Robert Downey and Don Cheadle. How was that? It was really fun. They're both really nice. Yeah? What are, like, what's Robert like? You know, when you're not filming, is he joking? Is he fun? Is he fun? Joking. Yeah. Have you done mov movies before? No, first one. First one? You want to do more? Yeah. Yeah. What do you want to do? You want to be a star, an action pick, something like Agent Carter? Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> My most nervous day at Marvel Studios was the day she acted with Robert Downey. I couldn't even go to the set that day. <laughs> I'll stay back. That's fantastic. <laughs> now, guys, if you have questions for, for us, use the hashtag Marvel, SDCC. We'll answer them here. Anything coming up? For I you? do. In fact, Ali Junaid, I probably said your last name wrong, and I apologize, uh, asked, hey, Lou, how was it directing Agent Carter? It was a lot of fun. Uh, it was also the most important thing for me uh, was making Haley, hoping she was proud of the film. Yeah. And uh, she's absolutely proud of it. Uh, you know, she's our favorite. Uh, we love her, and I, I had a lot of fun doing it. Very, very cool. One of the, one of my favorite little bits in Agent Carter is is the Zodiac, but just the, the little touches you guys put in, such as Zodiac, and, and I'm not going to spoil anything else. But a lot of the reports are out there. Try not to get spoiled on it when it comes. Uh, you want to see it fresh when right. it comes on Iron Man 3 Blu-ray and DVD September 24th. But you know. How closely do you work with writer Eric Pearson to make sure those little flourishes? Well, absolutely out? very close. Uh, the thing about Zodiac, it's the MacGuffin in our film. So it's not really integral to know understanding what it is and right. what it does. Only that bad guys are watching it, and it's imperative that Agent Carter gets it. Yeah. Uh, the real antagonist is, uh, is uh, Agent, uh, Agent Flynn, yes. played by Bradley Whitford. Uh, so, but what it does is Zodiac, it does present opportunities for the future. Yeah. Now we have a cool sounding MacGuffin and it has a strong symbol that people identify with. So who knows? I love that. happen in the future. That's terrific. Uh, so I haven't seen the film yet uh, because I've been here live streaming for you guys, but I've seen some of the artwork for uh, Peggy and it's very noir, sort of pulpy feeling. Is there anything that you drew inspiration from in the sort of design and overall look of the film? Well, we wanted to differentiate, even though we wanted to stay in the Captain America, the first Avenger world, but we right. wanted to be different. Mm -hmm. So what we did um, a little differently, instead of going sepia with the color, we went a little cool blue. Mm. We did use vintage lenses. Uh, oh, uh, cool. Our production design, I, we stayed away from, uh, you know, really uh, 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 dark woods and uh, and uh, anything that was too heavy-handed, period. So we wanted to modernize it a bit, and we did that also with the music. Uh, I, I think he added a big part of it. We, uh, our inspiration, my inspiration, it turned into the composer. I gave him Johnny Rivers' Secret Agent Man. And Very I said, cool. this, I want this to play, this the sentiment for the end credits. Yeah. And uh, he said, well, that's 60s. I said, I know, but it has that Secret Agent James Bond feel to it. Yeah, and I think he captured it, and then you put all those elements together. And um, I think you get a very distinctive look. A uh, very cool. Jordan Keeley would like to know, Lewis. Mad respect with the Lewis. Uh, what Marvel character are you and your daughter most like? I think Black Widow. Black Widow. <laughs> no, don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there's any red in her ledger yet. We're good. We're good. Yeah. And I'm Captain America. 
Oh. <laughs> That's pretty great. Uh, you know, you were talking about the end credits to Agent Carter. Right. Just phenomenal. I think that stood stood out to me both times watching it. Just such a cool visual a style for that. It was so fun. Yeah, uh, our VFX supervisor, Sheena Dougal, was responsible for the design, and Perception is the company that brought them to life. Uh, you know, we on Item 47, the last short I directed, we had a very nice credit sequence. And this film was a little bigger than that one. We wanted to up the credits and yeah. make it really stand out. And I think the combination of the visual style, which lends itself to the piece, the music, uh, it, it, yeah. it's, it's, you know, people have commented that this might be our best credit sequence yet. You know? I, I, I'm 100% honest with you, it's my favorite of our one shots, and that was one of the best of all the films in terms of you know, the credit sequence, and the whole thing came together as a very tight, really fun package. Right, we also have a surprise little tag scene that I think the crowd really loved oh last night. Oh my goodness, I, crack, I had seen it already and I died laughing the second time. We're not allowed so to tell yeah, nope. who, who that is, but I think the fans are going to enjoy it. That was the first thing I actually heard about from that panel. They're like, the scene at the end, so <laughs> great. Um, so uh, Jesse Tyler Nelson would like to know, what superhero do you guys like best? I like them all. All of them? I like, them I like the new one, Agent Carter, though. <laughs> I like Carter. That's my daughter. Yeah. <laughs> Chip off the old block. I like them all also. I, I have a, um, I like Captain America a lot. Mm. He's one of my favorites, I would say. Awesome. Iron Man, of course. Of course. Uh, um, but all of them also. Uh, so. Are you excited? Today's the big Hall H panel, you know. Yes. We've still got all this Agent Carter stuff, but it's like looming over oh, us. No. What is, it's like a tidal wave of amazingness coming. And I know it's coming, and I'm very excited for the fans to find out. How do you feel? Well, we had a tech check last night. Oh, yeah? It is so exciting. We know the footage. I've seen it a million times. But seeing it in Hall H uh, on the big screen and uh, some of the surprises we had, yeah. it is it's thrilling. It gives and you chills. It does it's give good. you chills. And no matter how many times we do this and how many times we're here, it's 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 so, it's just like being here for the first time. Yeah, I was uh, I was in my hotel room last night after the screening doing some work and I downloaded some stuff for our Hall H panel and I in my room screamed out loud as some obscenities after downloading and opening one of the files. It was so <laughs> exciting. <laughs> not, not you, you didn't scream at Sam. No, no, no I not never do that. No. In the privacy of my own room. Yes. Uh, you know, one of the fun things last night, you had a great Q&A, fans were super excited. They asked about, you know, the, the possibilities that this movie lends to us as Marvel Films, Marvel Studios in female-led stuff, and I know that's a big thing on your mind. Well, we do. Marvel, I think, is uh, in our film so far, we've had a lot of strong female characters. Pepper Potts, yes. um, uh, uh, the Black Widow, uh, Maria Hill, and of course, uh, Peggy Carter. Peggy Carter probably having to be the strongest because of the time period it's set in. Uh, really living in a man's world in the 1940s was a lot different than being in a man's world. There's no man's world now. Uh, I can tell you from my household, yes. three women, and I am not the boss. <laughs> I'm the bottom on the bottom on the totem pole. Yes. Yes. Uh, but there was a fan there who uh, was wearing a Captain Marvel outfit. Yes. It was really cool. You like Captain Marvel? Yeah, she's awesome. <laughs> she's, she's really. Cool. I love that character. Yeah. You know, maybe one day we can bring that to the big screen and fingers uh, crossed. And uh, maybe I'll direct it. Be, I would love that. That would be great. Awesome. Thank you, Lou, for coming on. Thank Lou's got to go up for a signing, which is, you know, that's awesome. You're going to be out there. Big star, doing all kinds of cool stuff. Stay tuned for more Comic-Con 2013 Marvel Live, presented by Dr. Pepper. We'll see you real soon. Lou, thank you so much thank for joining us. Thank you very much. so much. Awesome. We'll be back real soon, guys. See you soon. Marvel. Your universe.